Hey gang, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, believe it or not, I am putting together one of my favorite all-time Mediterranean breakfasts for my wife and I. And if you guys hang on, I want to introduce to you an old video that I created, one of my very first videos, and it's a Mediterranean seafood dish. And I think it's just going to be perfect for you guys because Valentine's Day is just around the corner and this dish is absolutely perfect to make that significant other super happy. And the great thing about it is you can use any kind of fish. So if that's something you might be interested in, hang on, let me finish my breakfast and we'll see you guys really soon. Women just melt over this dish. It is called Poisson en Papillot, and that is fish in a packet. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the sexiest fish that we've got off of our California coast, and that is white sea bass. I'm going to teach you guys how to create a packet with parchment paper, put this white sea bass with some vegetables, a little bit of wine, we've got some Sauvignon Blanc here, some lemon, we're gonna wrap it up into a packet, I'll show you exactly how to create this easy packet, and we're gonna pop it in the oven. By the way, I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees, right as we speak. All right gang, it's time to start julienning our vegetables, our carrots, store-bought carrots, I don't have any in the garden, and our Mexican squash. All right, so julienne vegetables, they're cut into thin strips, approximately four to five inches long. Let's get to this green onion. And how about our dill? Now we gotta take our lemon. We need two slices of lemon for every packet. And all we're gonna do with our cherry tomatoes is have them. Cut them right in half. Okay. It's time to move on to our next step. So let's grab a piece of parchment paper. Now the parchment paper comes in 15 inches in width. That's how, how large the, uh, the box is. So what I've got is approximately a 15 inch square and we're gonna fold the parchment paper over like this. Okay, so there we go. All right, we're gonna open it back up. And the first thing we're gonna put in our parchment paper is two lemons right here. There we go. Now we're gonna grab these very large pieces of white sea bass and we're gonna season them up. Some salt, liberal amount of salt liberal amount of pepper. We're gonna flip these over. All right. So now we'll take the first piece of white sea bass and we'll lay it right in here. Wow, wow. Look at the size of this white sea bass. I'm telling you, we are not screwing around. By the way, these should end up in the oven in probably about 15 to 20 minutes because of the thickness of the size of that white sea bass. If it was a much thinner fish, you know, it would be in the oven a lot less, but not with that, not with that size. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some carrots. We're gonna add some zucchini. There we go. A couple zucchinis on top, a couple carrots on top. Just like that, all right. We're gonna add some dill and some green onions. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of some capers to give this a Mediterranean French touch. Okay, we're gonna lather this up with a splash of olive oil, okay? And then, believe it or not, a splash of this Sauvignon Blanc. All right, that's about it. And now to teach you guys the mysteries of life. All right, we're gonna create a packet. There we go. We're gonna start at this end over here, and we're gonna fold, and we're gonna 
bowl, and then we're going to start working around the packet like this. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hold it back onto itself. There we go. All right, there's one papio. And now the last thing we're going to do before it goes in the oven is we're going to brush some oil on here. And you say, why are we going to brush the oil? Well, the oil, believe it or not, is just going to give this papio, this packet, a nice brown color. So remember, we all eat with our eyes before we start eating with our mouths. Okay, so let me pop these in the oven and we'll get going. All right, gang, I can start to smell everything coming out of this oven. It's been exactly 20 minutes. Wow, take a look at this. That's exactly what you want. See how that's puffy? What happens is now we take a pair of scissors and we snip this open and all those aromas and all those flavors come bursting out of there. We grab a small piece of this and make a small incision, okay? Oh wow, all that steam's going right out. We make four cuts. Now ideally you do this on the table with your significant other sitting down very hungry and very anxious to see what kind of meal you've created. Look at that steam coming off of there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys, this is truly the love dish. I am telling you, this is going to work, I guarantee it. Learn how to make fish in a packet. You can use lots of different kinds of fish. From the fisherman's belly straight to your belly and to her belly. God, it is hard to believe that I made that video about three years ago. And I'll tell you what, it is absolutely one of my favorite all-time go-to dishes. God, especially for a romantic dish like a Valentine's dish. Ho ho! If you want the full recipe, find it down in the description down below along with the ingredients and the kitchen gadgets that I use to make this uh, recipe. It's all down below. And if you have any questions about today's recipe, ask them down below and I'll answer you just as quick as I can. And what about this morning's breakfast? Check it out. This is Yanni. We'll see you guys on the next one.